6th of August, 2007. Undisclosed location somewhere in the South China Sea. File name, Operation Stork. Are we rolling? When the dust clears 15 to 20 years from now, I am confident that the real story of how we flipped Cuba will emerge. It wasn't Castro's passing, it wasn't economics, it wasn't a better standard of living. It was freedom, pure and simple freedom. And the Cuban people love freedom. I was down there in March of 05 on a covert ops mission with a spook by the name of, well, let's just call him Mateo. We sent this guy down there and he's, you know, engaging with the people, hitting every rum joint, every cigar stand, bar, restaurant, and beach in Havana. There's a few file photos of him working the people in Havana. <laughs> he's a very engaging fellow. He felt that in order to connect with the people, he had to drink the local spirits. Mojitos, Cuba Libres, daiquiris, you name it. Here's one of him undercover. Anyway, he's talking to him about, you know, freedom, a better way of life. And he's telling him to keep it under wraps until he gives him the sign. Well, that's the funny part, see, because the sign is this crazy dance called the stork. You've got to imagine a six foot five man with long legs, high, and a dozen or so Cuba Libres loping the dance floor, taking giant strides and swinging his arms wildly. I personally saw it and was terrified, but the Cubans seemed to respond to it. They knew on some level that kind of exuberance could only come from freedom. And when he did the dance, he knew, and they knew, it was time to do something about their political and economic situation. I don't think it's any coincidence that Castro became ill later that very same year. Since that time, they publicly commemorate Mateo with El Storco, a dance in the plazas on stilts you see here. Yes, he is remembered fondly in Cuba. Mateo is currently on assignment elsewhere. I hear he's up in some undisclosed suburban location in Northern California, working his magic. 6th of August, 2007. Cut tape.